Okay, so in this short video, I'm just going to be briefly retouching on how to do keyword research for YouTube. I know I touched on this a little bit already in this course, but I just wanted to reiterate it um, and make it its own little section. So basically what you're going to be doing is typing in your topic, whatever it may be, into YouTube. Let's just say it's digital marketing. And of course, you can get some initial ideas right off the bat here. What I like to do is type in the topic and then a space and then go ahead and add A. And then you can see what all these different terms are here. And what I'll do is I'll just print the screen. Oh my gosh, <laughs> which is what you might have to do. That's what I usually do is I print screen. So that way I'm able to go back and see all of these. Uh, just control print screen. And then I'll go into paint, control V, and then all my, my things will be right there and I can go ahead and write everything down, you know, copy all this down. Anyways, you guys get the point. You take all these um, ideas here from YouTube, like I said, just control print screen go B. It's going to give you all these ideas and terms. C, D, E, F, right? So just go all the way through the alphabet if you want. It's going to give you a ton, a ton of ideas. And for me, this is the best way that I know how to do YouTube keyword research. Basically, um, I know that they used to have a keyword tool, YouTube did, but they don't keep up on it and they haven't kept up on it for years. So I really don't find it helpful. What I do find helpful is doing this method with auto complete and just going kind of the long way. Now, it is a little bit of manual work, but in my opinion, it's the best and easiest way to get actual relevant terms here from YouTube. Now, once you have these terms, let's say that we've made our huge list, right? And then you want to go in here and you can type in any terms that you're super interested in. Just come in here, put it in the search bar, and then you can have an idea of how many search results there are, which will tell you approximately like how popular a certain term is. Basically, if something has like 10,000 results or less, it's not popular. There, You could probably create a video on it and rank that video pretty easily because that's just not a lot of results, you know, for, for YouTube because most things are within, you know, the 100,000s, right? Anything in the 100,000s, you're going to have to work a little harder to try and get it up there and get it ranking. So... That is how I do keyword research in a nutshell. Here, I'll just quickly do uh, another one for you. Wow, that one has even more, even more results. And so, yeah, this is this is how I go about it. It is um, the long way, you know. There's not really like a short cut with a software that's going to generate all this stuff for you. Um, if you're a software programmer or something. Go ahead and make one because I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting for years for a good YouTube keyword software generator. But in the meantime, this is a great way to do it by hand. And it's the, the best way that I know how to get the most um, up to date information and relevant results. Other other softwares that say that they pull YouTube results just I don't see that it works well and they usually never get the the results right or the search volume correct so um, while YouTube is super secretive about uh, what terms get how much search volume we won't know that but the results will tell you a little bit about what is more popular and what is less popular so if we just type in something like um, digital marketing training let's just see Oh my gosh, like that, like that is a huge keyword term and I probably wouldn't even try it. Now, maybe something like digital marketing training 2017, oops, 2017. Oh my gosh, even more, <laughs> even 
even more results. So this is why you guys want to do keyword research because as you can see, if we went for ranking this keyword, we'd have better chances of ranking this than even ranking that. So, and, and I, I, I wouldn't have thought that. I, I would have thought, oh, you add another term and it's, it's less competition, but obviously um, people really wanted to try and rank for that. So that is YouTube keyword research in a nutshell. Very simple, very straightforward, nothing too complex, but it does take a little bit of time. I hope these uh, few little tips have been helpful and you can join me in the next video as I show you how to do Amazon keyword research.